so today I'm doing a video about setting powders so basically I'm gonna just be going over my like top favorite setting powders um really I just have two of them but it's like um different variations of the two setting powders so first of well first off we're going to start off with Laura Mercier. So I got the translucent powder in medium deep. And I got like so many of these. Like, let me show y'all how many I got for real. I got this much. So y'all, I got like two medium deeps. And I don't know if y'all could tell, but the last two at the bottom are just the regular like translucent powders. So the difference is the medium deeps is like a darker, like for brown, like, well, really all of these is for like different skin tones. So like regular translucent, any skin tone can really use this type of powder. Like this works good on anyone. This gives you a natural like finish, even if you like do like a skin tint or something it give you a natural finish but you're gonna look like um airbrushed like that's what laura mercier setting powders do it make you look airbrushed so this is a really really good setting powder i recommend this to absolutely anyone like it's so good and it's good for like literally any skin tone like darker skin oh, this is the honey one actually honey one looks good on darker complexions and like medium complexions um the regular translucent is good for any skin tone and the medium deep is really good for darker skin and like medium skin tones or brown skin tones so that's laura y'all so i also have this type um type of laura mercier powder um there's not okay the biggest difference with this kind um is it has a little shimmer to it which i actually don't like i don't like setting powders with shimmer to it i feel like it just defeats the purpose like i want to look completely airbrushed and flawless with my makeup and i want my makeup to last and just look really i like a flawless airbrush look so this don't really help with that and for the girlies that like you know shimmers and kind of like if you like highlighters you would probably like this because it got that shimmer it got that kind of highlight wave but i feel like highlighters and really anything with shimmer has been left in like 2016 2017 for, up to 2018 like that's when we stopped using so much shimmery so much highlighter so much remember like it used to be like gold highlight i used to wear gold highlight every day like no 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 that was not the way like it's not the way for me anymore comment down below if y'all still wear highlighters because i feel like I, highlighters is so outdated to me like i just don't see the point I don't see the point and I really don't see nobody else wearing those like right now what's in is more the natural soft girly look that's what the girls is liking these days but comment below what y'all like all right y'all so next we have Huda Beauty now I know I know Everybody has had debates about Huda Beauty. I did. Now, this... Actually, no, no, no. Let me just start off by saying I've been using this one. This been my girl. Like, I mix this with Laura Mercier. And I mix the Laura Mercier Medium Deep with Regular Translucent. So, I'm just a mixing type of girl. But... It really, like, I feel like all the powders together work good together. And it gives you a nice airbrush look. Now, not too much. Because if you do too much, you might look ghostly or you might look not really airbrushed. You might not. Like, the whole point is to have your makeup looking one accord. Like, 
all evened out skin tone. Not to look like a ghost and not to look, you know, crazy. But, 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 this girl right here, this is Blondie. This is Blondie. Y'all, y'all. Yeah. I had to double check the name, but yeah. Blondie. This is like a honey, like, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. I'm ashy. Don't look. But yeah. See, that's Blondie, y'all. It's like a yellow undertone to this powder. But it gives you such a beautiful, especially for darker skins or like brown skins, brown skin girlies, darker skin girlies, even the lighter skin girlies. Not white skin, but light skin. Yeah. Yeah. This one. Blondie. Hue the beauty. I promise you, your makeup gonna look so good. Now, I already know it's been like a big big deal over this setting powder i'm honestly like y'all when i tried this i really want to see what the hype was about why this been trending because y'all know like um all the like pink setting powders is in now i think i don't know who started the trend i think dior set it off i don't know or maybe it was huda i don't know but whoever set it off, they set off this trend of using pink loose powders, setting powders, or translucent or um, pressed powders. That's like all the powders. <laughs> but they're doing like this pink shade because the I think the idea or the key to this is like when you do your blush like to kind of set the blush for real and give it that like bubblegum pink type of type of um I don't know like type of look like bubblegum pink baby doll look but I feel like doing that with regular blush is like gonna give you that look but if y'all hear that that's my cat in the background ignore that but anyways, I'm going to show y'all what this one looks like. So, that's how that looks. See, it's, it's like a baby pink. But this stuff, if I use this, look, you got to use a little bit. Like, don't use this as a real setting powder. Because I made that mistake, like, literally, I don't know, two days ago. I had tried this out and used it. As like a regular setting powder and oh my gosh it left like pink residue like it didn't and it gets dark like if you put it on certain areas like the pink kind of turns into a dark pink and I was just not feeling that so but I did I probably used way too much I think I definitely used way too much so if you want to use this to kind of set I would set my blush with this and it would probably give a nice baby pink bubble gum. Like, uh, I can see the vision. I can see the vision. So I'm not going to count this out. I want to give this another try. And I might do it just on this channel. So y'all can see the end result too. But I would do this to set blush. Not really as a real setting powder. Like just a little like uh, on this area near where I contour and stuff. That's what I would do. But the girlies is putting this under their eyes and, you know, doing their little routine. And it, it works for some people. So, I don't know. I'm going to give it another try and we're we going to see. But I was a little scared. I'm, I'm a little scared of this one. But um, I did get it. And this was really hard to get. I tried to get this, like, two different times. And, like, it was sold out, like, within minutes. Like, every time. This gets sold out really fast. So, if you thinking about getting it, pick it up quickly because this girl be gone. Okay, y'all. So, another thing I want to touch on is you don't need to spend, like, mad money on setting powders. You don't need to spend 40 to $50 on a setting powder. 
um there's cheaper ones that do the same job so this is one of them oh let me show the name this is one of them this is a uh, sasha buttercup and this powder this is just like um huda beauty the blondie one let me show y'all all right guys so yeah so the sasha buttercup is just like this huda beauty um blondie color like these both have a yellow undertone to it i'm gonna show y'all the sasha one just so you can see what i'm talking about Ooh, that one kind of came out but um yeah that's sasha so it has like the same yellow undertone i would be careful though because First of all, all of these setting powders is messy, but I would be careful not to like put too much because you don't want too much of an undertone. Just be careful when you're applying your setting powders because setting powders can get messy and it can look ghostly if you not applying the correct ones. If you, for the ghostly look, it, it's normally when you use like translucent powders to be honest like too much if you use too much of any powders it's gonna look ghostly it's gonna leave like probably a white cast but it all depends on what you're doing now for me i do want to say sometimes well for the most part i do kind of bake um because i find baking works for me like when I bake, I don't do it for too long, though. I, I only go, I literally put a timer on my phone for two minutes to bake. And when I'm setting, when I leave, well, before I set my makeup with any type of powders, when I'm doing, like, foundation, contour, and then when I get to concealer, I set the concealer for two minutes. I actually put a timer on for two minutes, set my concealer, blend that out and then i go in with setting powder and then i leave the i bake my setting powder for two minutes too um if i have time if i'm rushing then hey but if i have time i'm gonna set my setting powder for two minutes so yeah i do bake but i don't really try to leave it on there for too long but baking works for me i don't know if it'll work for y'all but it works for me so yeah, but this is budget friendly. Um, okay, uh, so I'm gonna try to link everything down below in the description box. Um, this concludes this video. So leave a like, leave a subscribe, leave um leave a comment, and um yeah, I'm gonna catch y'all in the next one. Bye. Bye.